Hello, hello, strange and wonderful populace of the internet. I'm Steamhat, and welcome to Words and Works, a weekly show where I make art and share words. Today I'm going to be talking about what it is that drives me to make art. For what I'm painting, well, you'll just have to wait and see. Though I think I'm, it's pretty obvious. How it turns out, though, you'll see soon enough. To begin with, I need to tell a bit of a story for what started all this. Ages back, when I was a wee lad, Upon my parents' shelf was a 1991 edition of J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit, and adorned on its front covers was the exceptional artwork of John Howe's Smaug the Golden. That image just screamed an impression deep into my mind. This art suddenly changed everything, and from there there was very little to stop me, finding every scrap of paper and drawing massive coils of sea monstrosities, hideous dragons with more teeth than seemed logically possible, and, of course, the tiny dwarfed victims in the foreground, destined to fall to the big beasties. My parents told me that they had to hide a lot of my art when inspectors came to visit, because they would make a lot of worry about my mental health, heavy monsters on the brain at the age of three. Years later, when I was a teenager, I met an artist alike to this in the flesh, and all of a sudden my interests and hobbies were now a reality that others followed. I decided then, in my grade 7 year, to pursue a life in art, and become as good as I possibly could. Until maybe a stroke stopped me, but that hasn't stopped some artists. You see, all of a sudden, this art had a purpose. It took me a while to notice it, mainly finding more artists really made me figure it out. I wanted to make art, for reasons alike to how someone had made art, and thus inspired me to want to make art. And after I had developed work that I was proud of, I hoped to inspire someone else. So here's the simple answer. I make art because I wish that someday a young girl or boy finds it and suddenly wants to make art themselves. Now coming to almost 20 years afterwards, at 22, when you're a self-titled fantasy artist or at least an inspiring one, there's little in this world that encapsulates the concept of fantasy and image than that furious, fire-breathing, cold-blooded critter, the dragon. It all started with a dragon, so may as well start all of this with one. For now, my words are over, but I very much hope some of you are impressed or inspired by the simple words and works of an artist. Hey there, I'd just like to thank you for watching this video of mine. If you enjoyed what you saw here, please don't hesitate to like. If you didn't enjoy it, please don't hesitate to dislike. Honestly, I'd like feedback. And if you'd like to see more of this in the future, then hey, why not subscribe? I'll try hard not to make you regret it.